It's snowing again. Woohoo! We love snow. About five minutes ago, it was just barely starting to snow, and now there's snow all over the roads again, covering all the ice that's here from a few days ago where we got a freezing rain, and everything was ice. So now it's snowing on top of all that said ice. A few days ago, that big pile of chopped grass bedding from our neighbor's past, from our neighbor's field, where we had been harvesting oats, where we had those planted, we had a bunch of grass from down there chopped up, and we had a big pile of stuff in here for bedding. But since then, that pile has run out, and my dad bought some big square straw bales. These are. 3x4x8 by by bales, so they're a lot taller. The bale is about this tall now, rather than about that tall. So I've been starting to use this for bedding. Show us the way, Chester. So we've been putting straw bedding now underneath the cows rather than the grass. Alright, it's the next day, it's Saturday now. And as you can probably see, we did get quite a bit of snow. Quite a bit, meaning probably four at the most, maybe even five inches. I'm taking the manure out right now.
now I gotta try to figure out where my last row was. Well, I guess it doesn't matter where my row was. It's all blowing to the northeast anyway. Maybe just to the east. Whatever direction that is. It's very windy out. It's probably 23 degrees or so. But the wind makes it very discomforting. It's pretty cold outside. So yeah, if you look at where I was hauling versus where all the stuff that was tossed up by the beaters, if you look at where I was driving versus where all that stuff went, you can tell it is kind of windy. The wind's calmed down a bit right now. I got a straight sweater off. And now there's no shine, no more shiny red running gear underneath our silage wagon. And the reason is because a couple of days ago the silage wagon was sitting here like it usually does when we're not feeding it. But um, we had the blocks behind the wheels, but it's really been really icy. Of course, so something happened where the ice, it, something slipped so the silage wagon rolled down but the back right wheel hit this post of the shed right here. So what happened was that that side of the silage wagon stopped but the end of the end went going. So thankfully it didn't wreck anything in the shed like it did last summer. But it ended up bending in kind of destroying the running gear of the silage wagon in a way, so we had to put a different running gear under the box, so that's why it's not so shiny anymore. And the new bull calf Elmo has been really healthy, so that's good. And it looks like we might have a nice sunset coming our way.
Oh, I'm all done bedding for the night. George and Wilson have to finish feeding. And then they'll be done. What? <laughs> Am I supposed to say thanks for watching?